Hello, these are some images related to the golden number, the golden mean, the divine proportion, or phi, 1.618033988 onto infinity. Probably the most important, or certainly one of the most important numbers we need to learn about, because it describes so much of the natural world, but for some, uh, well, okay, we're not, we don't get taught about this, this, this uh, even though it's like mathematically verifiable, it's like literally all over the place. So I should have changed that. Well, still we have a, anyway. Um, well, throughout nature, from the macro to the micro, from the biggest to the smallest, these spirals like, define nature and, and, and uh, growth cycles. But uh, So that's the symbol for phi. But to what I'll just have a look at is... Uh, it's okay, we'll begin with this one. Uh, just how it applies in plants, actually, before I go. So we're going to talk about the golden angle. And this is the golden angle, 137.5 degrees to 222.5 degrees. And you find it in nature. And the reason why it's so important is that when the plants grow at this particular ratio and, and twist like this, it's to, uh, it helps the plants because what will happen is that one leaf will not cast a shadow on the other. or It will, it will reduce the uh, shadow, so it maximizes the amount of sunlight that a plant gets. It's a very clever way, very important way for, for nature to work. Okay, but this is branches and leaves. But we also find the golden angle in many other aspects. So let's look at uh, succulents. Pardon me, I'm not a bot botanist, so I don't know the name of this plant. But you can see how it's, so we begin this leaf, and it spirals out. And it might not be, you know, but you look at it closely, you'll see that it's spiraling out. And so we begin with this leaf and this leaf here. So what we have is it from the center of this leaf to the center of that leaf. It's, it's 137.5 to 225 degrees, and the plant will keep growing that way. And there we see it again and again. But what's important about that is so 222.5 over 137.5 is 1.618181818. Phi is 1.618033988. Okay, but this small margin of error is within, you know, margins of error within measurement. So, uh, you know, if you had the equipment and, you know, if you to measure the, the exact angle of this, you know, probably even is closer to phi, but, uh, in the Fibonacci uh, spike, so Fibonacci numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89. So Fibonacci spiral, Fibonacci numbers, very important, uh, very well known in regards to fire. But uh, another example of it is uh, this plant here. And again, you see it's it's forming a spiral as it grows. And now if you pay closer attention and, and um, observe it closely, it's not maybe immediately verifiable but okay so it's what we happen so center of this part to the center of that part again 137.5 now from that to the next 137.5 137.5 137.5 and the plant just keeps growing out that way and so that's uh, the golden angle and one aspect of why these spirals so certain spirals Okay, you'll find sunflowers, other parts, uh, artichokes, uh, cauliflower, dandelion heads, cact cacti. Now the because of the depends on the uh, the way that the waves is breaking, they won't always form this fire ratio. So you know this technically shouldn't be in there. And there are a lot better pictures where you see them more clearer. But again, we see the fire spiral in storms, but you'll see it so often in galaxies. It's even in DNA, so it really is from the from the mac from the micro, the very small, you know, anything smaller than man to the macro, uh, which is uh, above man, and that's just it's just phi is really really cool, and it's built into ancient sites um, across the world, and it's just one of these perfect numbers anyway, uh, just to show you some examples. So it's not just about leaves growing out like that; it's uh, just you know, in the house, you know, just. To, down the street from me you'll find these types of plants as well so the golden angle very uh, important phi is more than just a curiosity some will even deny that it it's uh, that it's important at all or will exist I'm looking at you mr. Devlin 
I don't know how you got to your position with that sort of attitude to there. And even there was a mathematics uh, documentary series called The Code by Mark de Sautoy, uh, pronunciation. Well, yeah, one part of the documentary, and I'll put the link in there, was all about spirals in nature. And it's just interesting that he never mentioned phi or the mathematical properties of phi, which is one of the reasons why it's so wonderful, beautiful. It's in, you know, pure math. It's in, in nature, it's in ancient structures, it's, again, it's everywhere. It's just one of these defining things and and, and we're not taught about it and that's just, I think it's a sin because it's such a, a beautiful, inspiring thing. If pe You know, how many people who, who get turned off by the way we get taught maths in school were to be taught in a different way and to be shown these things, you know, uh, I would it's when people who are not interested in in numbers at all when I introduce them to fly it's like they're really blown away by it they love it and then they start to see it all the time because it is it's to be seen everywhere it just really is cool and beautiful and again unfortunate uh, it's it's so few people uh know about it and I think that that should change so five a golden number divine proportion however you want to call it it really is one of the most important cosmic and by cosmic i mean literal sense not in the kumbaya sense i mean it is cosmic it not just on earth throughout the uh the universe from the macro to the micro it's just the way that nature things are uh, that nature wants things to be it's the the growth rate so whether you use the fibonacci numbers lucas numbers or any sort of similar series you're always going to come to the golden number and that number is phi 1.618033988 dot 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 onto infinity Phi, it's a thing.